of poverty removal of poverty what efforts done by the government of india in relation to the removal eradication of poverty from economy eradication of economy poverty removal strategies strategies removal strategies done by the government of india by government of india and next are the poverty alleviation program for removal of a poverty in country for which as what static what uh, policies which of the policies introduced by the government poverty alleviation programs alleviation programs so which of the policies initiated by the government of india in relation to the removal of poverty from economy so the first strategies what strategies adopted by the government after independence for removal of poverty from economy first as a land reforms land reforms land reforms at the time of independence after the independence india it becomes as a poorer country one of the poorest countries of the world because of a partition in a partition decided that a 6 billion amount of a dollar it will be as a given to the pakistan for the start their developmental processes for its developmental processes so at that time india it was as a one of the poorest countries of a world where the 35 crores of a population living that population can't feed by the country because of a poor poor growth in a agriculture fields so government of india it initiated a land reforms what kind of a land reforms initiated first the government abolished the zamindari system last year we discussed the four of the revenue systems ijadari system revenue system uh, zamindari system mahalwadi system and the reyotwadi system in such revenue systems land given to the landlords and landlords given such land among the poor farmers landless laborers such farmers they responsible for the production afterwards the production they sold the production they sold as some part of the production directly to the production directly to the company sorry they were paid in a form of a revenue to the landlords farmers afterwards the production 50 half of its production or 60 percentage of the production paid in a form of a revenue to landlords and landlords to the company so such system of a zamindari system abolished of zamindari system zamindari system zamindari system abolished by the government of india just after the independence clear after independence second allocation of land allocation of land a large number of refugees which came to india after the partition of a country from eastern pakistan existing bangladesh to from and western pakistan existing pakistan towards the main land of india such population we do those refugees which came to india land allotted to them to set up their own sources of income sources of income for which as a land allotted allocation of a land among the refugees refugees third ban on shifting cultivation ban on shifting cultivation shifting cultivation it's supportive for the preservation of a protection of a biodiversity ban on shifting cultivation after the independence one of the efforts done by the government of india in relation to the land reforms land reforms ban on shifting cultivation next fixation of rents or taxes or revenue earlier as during as a british age different lands were used for a different types of a revenue 
after the independence government of india set as a set as the revenue the amount of a revenue which was as a collected amount of revenue which was as a very minimum as compared to the production during the british age half of the production used it was as collected in a form of a revenue but after the independence government of india it fixed as a revenue at a low at cost low at cost so two as a such kind of the reforms those which were as a earlier tenants they becomes as a land owners those which were earlier as known those which were known as the landless laborers they becomes as a land owners to the allocation of land to the abolition of a zamindari system at a zamindari system when a zamindar landlords given a land to the poorers for a production in such avers they collected as a revenue from them revenue from them so such farmers they becomes as a land owners when the zamindari system finished when the shifting cult, uh, cultivation banned by the government afterwards uh, those which lost their livelihoods those tribal communities lost their livelihoods they are also getting as a land under the allocation of a land and rents revenues also fixed by the government of india so this was as the first strategy opted by the government just after the independence clear second now second second sectoral growth of economy sectoral growth of economy sectoral growth of economy growth of economy after independence standard of economy it was the deprived very low grade poverty it was as existed more than a 50 percentage of population living the under poverty which can't complete their basic needs food shelter clothing clear at that time the all the three sectors these were deprived due to the 200 years of a british age indian agriculture declined their growth due to the decreasing the fertility of lands commercialization of agriculture growth of a cash crops leads to the decreasing fertility of a land agriculture production it was a low graded clear second as industries were not as a not the prominent growth in industries after during the british age britishers only as established as such industries which were beneficial for them beneficial for them that's why they started as the one what one cotton textile industry in 1854 1854 the first jute mill in a calcutta in 1855 and a first iron and steel industry one and only iron and steel industry during the british age in tesco in jamshedpur tata iron steel company to complete their needs neither for a country's development so country still as the lagging behind in industrial field also third as tertiary sector the service sector it was as a decline it visualized that uh, through the large number of uh, deaths it till the independence poor medical facilities responsible for the deaths of our people that's why the most number of families they possessed as a 10 to 15 kids 10 to 15 kids were the normalized in a most number of our families the reason poor medical facilities really the out of the 10 really as a 2 to 3 kids were there which crossed the age group of a 20 to 25 years most of the kids these were died due to the inadequate health facilities poor medical facilities malnourishment due to which so after independence government emphasize over sectoral growth of economy for which planning commission established planning commission established in 1950 planning commission formulated the five year plans which is now as presently known as a niti ayog planning commission is known as a niti ayog it initiated the five year plans first two five year plans first 1951 to 56 then 50 Sorry, fifty-one to fifty-five, then the fifty-six towards as a sixty. These two five-year plans emphasized over the agriculture production, which resulted as a green revolution in economy. And when green revolution introduced in the nineteen sixties, India becomes as a self-sufficient in a food grains. That country which earlier imported food grains from food grains from a U.S. and a China. 
now as a self sufficient in a field of a wheat and a rice production due to as a green revolution it's possible due to as a sectoral growth it's possible through as the sectoral growth 1951 to 56 55 then 56 to 60 as a two five year plans at earlier emphasized over agricultural production agricultural production growth of economy first till 1960s 70s as agriculture production improved afterwards the 1970s 80s and 90s as industries allocate towards the indian subcontinent newer industries were set up and afterwards as a 1990s as a growth of a tertiary sector telecommunication services evolved these were developed afterwards the 1990s 1990s the growth of a telecommunication services banking insurance insurance marketing uh, hospitals education institutes these were as a growing at the age of a 1990s afterwards till the 1990s the most number of education institutes managed by the government by the public sector but afterwards as a private sector sector started to produce to provide as the better education and the health facilities it's due to as a growth in economy government emphasized over the sectoral growth sector by sector first as a primary sector then secondary sector then tertiary sector growth in economy clear so such growth in economy provide the more job opportunities more growth in economy more job opportunities people those people which were earlier as a low graded living as a low living standard now they living as a high living standard they spending as the luxurious life it's due to as a sectoral growth of economy clear second strategy third industries industrialization or growth of a cottage industries cottage industries growth of cottage industries growth of cottage industries cottage industries as you familiar last year you read cottage industries are the household industries household industries in which the family members collectively responsible for the production here when we are talking about the poverty poverty is related with the individuals individuals in which a person unable to complete their basic needs so we have to provide the jobs at a grassroots level at a lower level through which the poverty can eradicate so cottage industries located in a rural economy where the people are not having the source of their income to as a cottage industries cottage industries they can manufacture the goods and such goods it can may uh, such, uh, such goods it can be as a sell at their adjoining areas at its adjoining areas for which as a cottage, cottage industries they are playing as a key role cottage industries play as a key role in a rural economy such rural economies where the inadequate facility inadequate facilities are not available for improving the living standard for improving the living standard for which as cottage industries play as a key role clear next as a redistribution of income redistribution of income redistribution of redistribution of redistribution of income distribution of income after the independence unequal distribution of income among the rich and poor makes the economic disparities economic differences rich becomes as a more richer poor becomes the more poorer this then it was as a continue till the british age till british age this trend of a rich becomes a more richer by exploitation of a natural resources and the poorer becomes as a more poorer due to as a inadequate facilities inadequate facilities which increases the economic disparities in order to reduce the gap between the rich and poor the government made an attempt through income distribution measures 
income distribution measures as a to reduce the gap between the rich and poor government started as a collecting taxes from the rich people collected taxes income tax collection of a income tax from the rich communities rich people second government started as a tax on a consumption and purchasing of a luxurious items luxurious items means as a four wheelers it will be as a buy air conditioners refrigerators it will be buy by the those which are the self sufficient self sufficient neither by the those poorers which can't complete their basic necessities a person can first prefer to the basic necessities afterwards as a luxurious items those who will purchase as a luxurious items they have to pay as a taxes which will be as a collected by the governments third as government given as a subsidies government giving the subsidies provision of subsidies third is the provision of subsidies provision of subsidies of essential goods essential goods for lower income groups for lower income groups government started as the provision of subsidies provision of subsidies for subsidies for given as a subsidies for essential goods to lower income groups lower income groups means as a those people which can't complete as their requirements especially as a poor economic background they can be as a afford them through the subsidies for example a farmer a farmer which has possess as a 2 acres of a land if it want to buy as their own agricultural source own tractor it can be as a buy on the basis of a subsidy government giving as a subsidy for a such kind of a machineries which are related with the production only for the poorers not for the others if the rich farmer trying to purchase as a tractor it has not having the not getting as a subsidy i am again repeating in order to reduce as a gap between the rich and the poor rich and the poor the government made an attempt through income redistribution for which as government started collection taxes collection of taxes from a rich and a middle class families second as taxes imposed on a luxurious items taxes imposed on luxurious items and third provision of a subsidies on essential goods essential goods to lower income groups to lower income groups for which as a government has given as a subsidies clear so through these strategies so that gap which arise due to as the economic disparities economic disparities that difference it it eradicate it remove at some of the extent due to as such strategies clear so tell there any questions afterwards we will start towards as a poverty alleviation programs those schemes initiated by the government after the independence for eradication of a poverty in economy in which the first important is the manrega mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee act first manrega mahatma gandhi national mahatma gandhi national rural r stands for rural employment guarantee act mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee act ramnik that scheme which has given by you its name is a pradhan mantri gramin awas yojana it's only for the those which can't afford as the shelter which are still as living in a Unmetalled houses. Houses. So, for a second, 
here are the schemes which are targeted as the job opportunities if the person having the jobs then to which it can survive in economy it can survive in country jobs provided to the people through the different number of schemes for rural areas for urban areas to which people they can complete their basic necessities not only as a shelter food clothing shelter food clothing shelter so first manrega mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee act this scheme initiated in a 2006 2006 earlier it was known as a nash narega only now as a mahatma gandhi included under his as the five years back earlier it was known as a narega national rural employment guarantee act in some of the books it will be written as sir but now presently known as a mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee act 2006 it was as initiated in 2006 2006 this scheme this scheme this program given it provide as a 100 days of h 100 days 100 days of sure job opportunities assured job opportunities for rural population only for a rural areas 100 days of job opportunities for a rural economies for rural areas 33% 33% job opportunities reserved for rural women 33% job opportunities all these are the objectives of manrega 33% job opportunities 33% job opportunities reserved for women rural women this program targeted the sc and st communities it provide as a job opportunities for a schedule caste and schedule tribes socially backward sections socially backward sections job opportunities procured for the socially marginalized sections clear one more in a state of in a state of in a state s t a t e state of unavailability of jobs unavailability of jobs panchayats are bound panchayats are bound to provide unemployment allowance unemployment allowance a double l o w a n c e unemployment allowance berozgari bhatta if a panchayat fail to provide as a jobs on time to the person so for their survival some amount of money it will be as a given by the panchayats to the panchayats to the such laborers clear such laborers which is known as a unemployment allowance unemployment allowance manrega targeted for this i am again repeating as a 2006 mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee act initiated by the government of india for rural economy which provide as a 100 days of a sure job opportunities 33% jobs in a, in this scheme as reserved for the women this scheme as targeted to the socially marginalized sections and last in a state of a unavailability of a jobs if the jobs are not available in a rural economy in that state panchayats are bound to pay unemployment allowance unemployment allowance a double l o w a n c e unemployment allowance means every person which is as the unemployed in a rural economy they have to intimate the panchayat intimate 
panchayat regarding their unemployment regarding their unemployment they have to intimate towards the economy if the person has having their work then it can as a survive 100 days as the average it can be as a exceed but not less than it can exceed but not less than clear next scheme sgsy sgsy swarn jayanti gram swarojgar yojana swarn jayanti swarn jayanti gram swarojgar yojana स्वरोजगार योजना स्वर्ण जयंती विच इज हैजोटेड विद द फिफ्टी इयर्स ऑफ इंडियन इंडिपेंडेंस ग्राम रूरल एरिया स्वरोजगार इज अ सेल्फ एम्प्लॉयमेंट योजना इज अ स्कीम प्रोग्राम इफ यू ट्रांसलेट दिस इन टू द इंग्लिश बट स्कीम इज एज सच वी आर फॉलोइंग इन इकोनॉमिक्स स्वर्ण जयंती ग्राम स्वरोजगार योजना सेकेंड स्कीम अश्मेत this is a poverty alleviation program second poverty alleviation program second poverty alleviation program formulated by the government of india in relation to the eradication of poverty from economy removal of poverty from indian economy swarn jayanti gram swarojgar yojana gram swarojgar yojana which was launched in 1999 1999 the objective of the program is to help objective the objective of this program is to help existing poor families existing poor families existing poor families to come above poverty line to come above poverty line above poverty line clear above poverty line next third scheme is the sgry sampoorn gramin rozgar yojana sampoorn gramin this is also all these are the poverty alleviation programs sampoorn 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 gramin rozgar yojana gramin rozgar yojana sampoorn gramin rozgar yojana this scheme launched in 2001 launched in 2001 this scheme aims to provide opportunity to surplus labor that labor which has not getting the jobs in any field surplus laborers to provide first objective of this scheme as which launched in 2001 sampoorn gramin rozgar yojana to provide opportunity to surplus labor second to provide security of fertilizers and manures fertilizers and manures third development of basic infrastructure development of sampoorn sampoorn means as a complete development of basic infrastructure which includes health centers health centers which includes health centers anganwadis health centers anganwadis anganwadis in rural economy rural economy anganwadis in rural economy 
रूरल इकोनॉमी क्लियर नेक्स्ट स्वर्ण जयंती शहरी रोजगार योजना स्वर्ण जयंती शहरी एस एच ए एच आर आई शहरी स्वर्ण जयंती शहरी रोजगार योजना स्वर्ण जयंती शहरी रोजगार योजना प्रीवियस वन पनिका इट वॉज फॉर द रूरल इकोनॉमी नाउ एज फॉर अर्बन एरिया डेवलपमेंट ऑफ अर्बन एरिया स्वर्ण जयंती शहरी रोजगार योजना लॉन्च इन टू थाउजेंड टू थाउजेंड टू इराडिकेट पॉवर्टी इन अर्बन एरिया इराडिकेट पॉवर्टी इन अर्बन एरिया एंड इंक्रीज सोर्सेस ऑफ सेल्फ एम्प्लॉयमेंट increase sources of self employment increase sources of self employment means any person who has passed their metric level of examination jo 10th pass hai and having as a any kind of a skill so for which as banks it it they are providing as a 5 lakhs of rupees as a credit at subsidized rates subsidized rates 10% is a subsidy given on 10% of a subsidy has given 10 it will be not returned by the that particular individual to a bank that's why it is as a subsidy on a subsidy credit facility for a on a subsidy credit facility availed by the individual for set up their own source of self employment सोर्स ऑफ सेल्फ एम्प्लॉयमेंट वो उससे अपनी कोई शॉप खोल सकता है सोर्सेस ऑफ सेल्फ एम्प्लॉयमेंट एंड लास्ट स्कीम इज अ नेशनल फूड फॉर वर्क प्रोग्राम नेशनल फूड फॉर वर्क प्रोग्राम लॉन्च इन 2007 नेशनल फूड एन एफ डब्ल्यू पी नेशनल फूड फॉर वर्क program this scheme later in stage as supportive to the narega national food for work program 2007 supportive to the narega manrega sorry m g n r e j e g a it is as supportive to the mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee act in narega for the work salaries given Hundred days of a jobs are assured, but through as a national food for work program, national food for work program, food grains are given to the food grains given to unemployed for their work for their work directly as a food grains given to them. This scheme as a later in stage joint by the Antyodaya Anna Yojana A A Y. अंत्योदय अन्न योजना अंत्योदय अन्न योजना अन्न योजना इन विच दो फूड ग्रेन्स विच गिवन टू द इकोनॉमिकली बैकवर्ड सेक्शन एज अ टू रुपीज पर के जी वी थ्री रुपीज राइस नाउ एज टू एस एन एन एफ डब्ल्यू पी सच अमाउंट ऑफ अ money which earlier as a given to the mandrega now as at their place as food grains given to the poorers clear food grains given to poorers national food for work program i will again as start from a nfwp in a next class clear asta